What's up YouTube? In this video, we're gonna look at how to set up your Apple TV remote to turn on your home theater with a click of a button. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a step-by-step -step and do a, a quick setup. So that way you don't have to use your, your remote for your projector and your remote for the AV receiver. This way you just grab your TV remote, click one button and everything turns on. All right, so let's go ahead and set it up. So um, what you're gonna need to do is make sure that you have your devices, your equipment hooked up using the HDMI ARC ARC input. ARC stands for Audio Return Channel Basically what that does, it sends a signal from your equipment uh, to be able to basically talk to it, connect to it. And um, that's what sends a signal to turn off everything at the same time. So make sure your projector uh, has the HDMI connection to the HDMI arc, then the HDMI runs to your AV receiver and make sure that's connected to HDMI arc and then your Apple TV is connected to the HDMI input as well. All right, so in the Apple TV, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to settings. Let's see here. Then you're gonna go down where it says remotes. then go down to where it says control tv receivers make sure that's set to on then right below it volume control make sure that's set to auto via hdmi basically what that allows it to do is the remote is able to control your volume as well it's real nice to be able to just grab the apple tv remote and then turn on your entire system and basically use the remote um, to watch all your movies since the volume button is here as well. I don't have to grab my separate AV receiver remote or my projector or anything. I'm able to click on my movie collection and then just, you know, pick a movie and start watching it. Very, very neat that you're able to just use one remote to do everything. All right, so for the Apple TV, make sure you have that setting on. And then we're gonna grab the projector remote here, which is a Epson projector. This uh, process should be the same for all uh, Epson models, well, the newer ones at least. We're gonna press menu. We're gonna go down to, let me zoom in down to settings and then HDMI link. So here, make sure HDMI link is on and then power on. I have it set to bi-directional. Basically, it means that I'm able to turn on either from the Apple TV remote or from the projector remote. Um, I mean, I just need it for the Apple TV remote, but I just leave it on bi-directional anyway. Power off link on link buffer on so that's the only setting you have to set on your projector and it's already linked okay now we're gonna grab the remote for the AV receiver I'm using a Denon AVR X2600 but it should pretty much be a similar process for all Denon receivers so what we do is we're gonna click setup and it's gonna load the Denon interface. Should be the same for all Denon receivers. Also the Marantz receivers should have the same uh, pretty much setup menu. We're gonna go down to where it says video. Then you're gonna click on HDMI setup and then right here where it says RC, source select, power on, and source. 
and then HDMI control on. Basically, this allows the HDMI arc, the audio return signal, to go from the receiver device back to um, the Apple TV. So now we have set up all three devices, the, the receiver, the projector, and the Apple TV. And then that's it, you're done. So as I was saying, my Apple TV remote, I just grab one remote and I'm able to control everything, control volume, and then turn off turn on the whole theater system and then turn off the whole theater system with a click of a button. Um, pretty nice. So if you have an Apple TV, guys, definitely I recommend it. Uh, especially if you have kids, that way they're not fiddling around with your remotes. They just, they're able to do it quick and easy. Um, I know that there's uh, Logitech Harmony remotes that do all of this, but if you have an Apple TV, you can actually set it up as well to do it. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. Uh, hit that like button, comment below if you have any questions, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.